DATE stands for Discovering Alternatives for Today's Encounters. And what we do in Project DATE is that we go around our community as well as our campus and we raise awareness about rape and sexual assault. What we do is we just promote our program through our events and we have guest speakers come in, talk about their topics on rape and sexual assault. College age students are just learning of their independence. They're not as experienced as more um, older adults. So when they come into a community where now their parents aren't as big as they used to be, like telling them what to do or anything, they kind of do kind of go crazy and let loose and they don't realize the dangers that there are. So informing them of the dangers that there are can help them protect themselves a little better. Showing the courage of telling a story and realizing that it doesn't just happen, it didn't just happen to them, but it's happening all the time. Um, will definitely help people get it out. I think that's the biggest thing. Feeling empowered and changing, making a change. Sexual assault and rape are not simple issues. Uh, I think they're, they're the product of, of much greater kind of social, cultural, community issues that we, we, we tend to not really talk about or address. Um, they're really at the core of, of, of uh, sexual assault, among other things, are gender issues. Um, and that's what, one, of the, one of the many things that we're hoping to address. Our goal is to get people to start talking about these issues and most importantly for folks who uh, may be survivors of sexual assault to, to put them in touch with the resources that might be able to help them recover. You don't necessarily have to feel uh, crazy or depressed or, or sick to have to, or to feel like you want to go and seek counseling. You just have to feel stuck.